Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the kids about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Eggs! Oh, are we going to hard boil them and decorate them and hide them? Hard boil them, decorate them, and hide them? <laughs> Sounds like you guys are getting ready for Easter. Wow, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-hosts, Hannah and Lydia. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about Easter. So we are going to make Easter eggs. Oh boy! Well, maybe a little later if we have time. But first, we've got an Easter lesson to teach. So what do eggs have to do with Easter anyhow? Good question. I think it has to do with the fact that eggs represent new life. And Jesus is all about new life. New life? But I thought Jesus died on the cross. He did. But then he came back to life. And that's what Easter is all about. What? Why did he do that? Well, he did it to conquer sin. To conquer sin? What are you talking about? Well, everyone in the world, including all three of us, we have a sin problem. A sin problem? Yeah, sin is when we disobey God. And we've all done that. I don't know, we're pretty well behaved. Well, that's great, but let me ask you a question. Have you uh, ever disobeyed your parents? Well... Yeah. Or have you ever picked on your sister? Not really. Yes, you have. <laughs> or have you ever told just a little lie? What's your point? Well, that's sin. And sin separates us from God. And if we've sinned, we aren't allowed in heaven when we die. What? That's crazy. It's not like I robbed a bank. Well, no, but heaven and Jesus are perfect, and even the littlest sin separates us. That's not good. Can we just have a timeout or something for punishment? Well, you're on the right track. The Bible says there is a wage or punishment for our sin. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. What is it? <laughs> it's death. Death? death? But I don't want to die. Me neither. Well, the good news is, Jesus died for our sin. He came to take the punishment. He died on a cross to pay for our sin. So we don't have to die. No, we're still gonna die someday. But if we believe in Jesus and confess our sins and then follow him, we will live forever with him, even after we die. What? That's crazy. But it's true. Let's take a look at a couple verses today. The first is from John 3, 16. Oh, I know that one. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Very good. And the other verse I wanted to share comes from Romans 10, 9, where it says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So is that what it means to be a Christian? Exactly. It's the starting point, not the ending point. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call a new creation. And all we're going to need is a couple of eggs and a coffee cup. Let's pretend that this coffee cup is heaven. And this first egg is you, and this second egg is Jesus. The Bible tells us that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. And so let's pretend that you're giving your life or your heart to Jesus like this. And now you'll find that when you crack your egg open like this, there's nothing inside. What in the world? It's empty. That's because you've emptied your life. You are now a new life in Christ. So let's crack open the Jesus egg like this and now you will live forever with him in heaven. See? What in the world? That's impossible. Th 
That's what a lot of people say about following Jesus, but it's true. We will live a new life with Jesus forever if we surrender our hearts to him. But how did you do that? Well, this was just a little trick to demonstrate the lesson. And if you'd like to see how I did it, just stick around to the end and I'll show you. But following Jesus isn't a magic trick. It's real. No wonder we celebrate Easter. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. And when we surrender our lives to following Jesus, we become what's called born again. I've heard of that. We are now a new creation. We are now Christians. And I know there are some people watching right now who have never done this and are wanting to give their hearts to the Lord. So I thought this would be a good time to pray. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. So let's pray. Jesus, I know that I've sinned and sin separates me from you, but you've paid the price for my punishment by dying on the cross for my sins. And you came back to life after you died. And so I confess my sins to you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I give you my heart and choose to believe in you and to follow you. Help me to live all out for you. Amen. Amen. Now I know a lot of you watching are already Christ followers, but others of you maybe just now are understanding and deciding to follow Jesus, and that's great. Welcome to the family. I want to encourage you to talk to your mom or your dad or your teacher about this. And then if you want, send us an email and share the good news with us, because we'd love to pray specifically for you, because that's what Easter is all about. So what about decorating eggs? Well, I think we've got time to make a few. But instead of dyeing the eggs like most people do, I thought it would be fun to color them with some glow-in-the-dark paint and then light them up. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Celebrating Easter is a beautiful thing. So girls, what did you learn today? I learned that we are all sinners and sin separates us from God in heaven. But God sent Jesus to die on the cross and pay the punishment for our sins. Exactly. And if we confess our sins and follow Jesus, he will forgive us and we can live forever with him. Very good. Now, we actually made a few Easter eggs just for you. Oh, you didn't have to do that. But we have a tradition of cracking them open on our heads like this. Huh. Right, Lydia? Right. <laughs> huh. Here, you give it a try. No problem, looks kind of like fun. Oh! What you in the have, world? You must have gotten a bad egg. Maybe this one will work. Well, I hope so. Ah. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe this. Um, maybe this one will work. Ah. <laughs> no, let me try. Ah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this isn't working so well. Well, we must have missed a few. Uh, you think so? Well, looks like yolk's on you. Yeah, we'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode was sponsored by 2911 Woodworks, where they make incredible wood products like cutting boards, charcuterie boards, signs, and so much more. If you dream it, they will build it. And of course, they make some pretty cool necklaces too. Just like the ones we're giving away to anyone who joins the fam club between now and Easter. You can find out more about 2911 Woodworks by checking out their website listed in the description below. And if you'd like to find out more about possibly sponsoring a Family Moments episode or a series of episodes, just send us an email at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We'd love to talk to you about partnering with us as we teach the truth about what matters most.
Okay, here's the secret to this little trick. You take a raw egg, hard shell, and you take a, I've got a little tack here, I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna poke a hole in the end of this egg with the tack. Just a little hole on that end, like that. And then I'm gonna poke another hole on the other end, like this. And then I'm gonna blow it out blow all the insides out. I've got a little little bowl here. I'm just gonna there we go. Got a hollow egg here. See the little hole? So that's that's the egg. That's the egg I'm gonna use to represent you. So I'm gonna cover up the holes with my finger like this and then I'm gonna Take the other egg, which is the Jesus egg, and that's the raw egg, and that's real. I'm not gonna empty that one. And when I start off and I'm showing the trick, I'm showing that this coffee mug is heaven. And I set it down, which you don't see, is when I pick it back up, I swapped it with the identical cup that already has an egg yolk in it. So when I crack open the hollow egg, it's empty. And then when I crack open the Jesus egg, I put that yolk in there and all of a sudden heaven has two yolks. That's how it works. Just a little sleight of hand, a little prep ahead of time. Very simple, very fun. Good luck.